Well, hello and welcome back and thanks for coming back. This is actually Bar Street, by the way, and there are one or two bars on it. It's just most people think that that piece over there is Bar Street. Anyway, we're not going up Bar Street. We're going this way, down the back of the Democritus restaurant. And at the moment, this is a parking area, but rumors are afoot that it's gonna be stolen away and taken back. But anyway, the point of this video is to show you that this part of the road is open to the rear of the big, big church. And of course, one of the focal points is the Buzz Pub. And I'm pretty sure that the gentleman who owns that, Marios, is a very, very happy chappy indeed. Now at least people can get to his pub and of course to the Grazzi restaurant very, very easy indeed. Let's let this lady go once she decides what she wants to do. Yep, she's decided to keep moving. She's got a bag of shopping. She's got some orange juice. And what else is in there? That's a look, that looks like some condensed milk or something. I wonder what she's gonna be making. Could be a cocktail or two, especially for you. So this part appears to be coming to fruition. The pavements are done, the black stuff is done. The metal poles are up, although one or two are getting knocked the life out of them shall we say and we're going to work our way towards the downtown Kedapathos Harbour now because if you're in a car in Kedapathos this is the only way that you can go there well sorry we'll rephrase that it's the only way you can get there if you abide by the rules and go down the correct roads as opposed to going the wrong way down one-way streets so I warn you now in and around Pathos myself included we are pretty famous for driving the wrong way down one way street so if you see us coming the other way all you've got to do is pull over squeeze a little bit more room and we'll get past you and either give you a thank you or a grunt and then you can continue on your route going the correct way so we are now circumnavigating through the rear streets of downtown Kedapathos. plenty of places around here by the way for you to stay there's accommodation absolutely everywhere from apartments to villas to apartment complexes and there's even the odd little apartment hotel around. There's the Bluebell Apartments there, flats and shops for rent as well. And lots of expats live in this area, by the way, because they understand that they can then just strut their stuff in a five minutes or so, and they'll be on the promenade and in the harbour area. So not a bad place if you're looking to buy a property, because it's only 10 minutes on foot to the old town. And now we're about to join the inner ring road, as we call it. It's like a dual carriageway that circumnavigates the extremities of Paphos. So unless you need to go into the centre of Paphos, this more often than not is the quickest way. But I warn you, there are traffic cameras and often little cars or vans parked up with cameras that take pictures of you if you go too fast. Predominantly the speed limit in and around Paphos is 50 kilometres an hour, but they're quite generous and they allow you to travel at 60 kilometres an hour. So keep the foot off the gas and be very observant. Otherwise, you'll be getting infringement on your credit card and having to go on the internet and all those kind of things. And you don't really want to be doing that, do you? Unless you want to go and watch Marika and me, or perhaps you want to hit that like and click the subscribe to the channel as well. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And while you're at it, well, why not go and hunt us down on that Buy Me A Coffee platform? That's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two or three or four or five you never know or perhaps even join us as a superstar member by the buy me a coffee platform starting off at only 10 euros a month and a big shout out to some of the guys that have taken that extra little bit of trouble if your name is lord lee and there's a girl in your life who's called lady vicky two daughters of course princess kelly and of course the superstar who likes to tune in now and again in the morning to watch mr paul's rants Princess Layla, a very, very big thank you and a very, very good morning to you. Uh, who else can we talk about? Well, Lady Whitney, thank you very much. Sir Jason, thank you very, very much. Lady Kirsty in downtown Glasgow, we thank you very, very much indeed. And of course, the apple of your eye, Alexander the Fantastic, who tunes in now and again. Well, when it's his birthday, I suppose. And hopefully his mum has wiped that tear away. This is downtown Keda Paphos Harbour area. This is the Harbour Roundabout, and we are going to go straight over. There's a very frustrated taxi driver behind me who thinks I should have kept going. So, just to annoy him a little bit more, we'll drive that a little bit slower. 
there's Maria talking to a gentleman about hiring one of those electric scooters and some of the comments were correct those electric scooters can be quite dangerous especially when you get a group of idiots racing up and down and going too fast with uh, no signs of respect for anybody else so if you are going to rent one please please drive carefully please please treat all the people around you with that little bit of respect deliveries galore that's the wood kiosk there and it sells everything from fridge magnets to hats to mugs to Romeo and Juliet's two cigars let these guys go we're gonna go for a stroll into the Paphos Harbour bet you're feeling very very envious indeed aren't you Sir Daniel and of course Sir Brian tune in in the mornings don't answer the phone right don't answer the phone if the boss rings anyway you are the boss let's go and have a look to the rear of the harbour restaurants and let's get that spectacality of a view straight out into the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea oops a daisy get that man to move over it's a bit narrow here you see there's a car coming down and there's deliveries going on at this time of day quite early in the morning well it's not early but it is for, for delivery men in Cyprus because no one likes to do anything until around about 10 o'clock we all like to well, lounge around in our beds should we say and think about going on the beach and coming up now is going to be a spectacality of a view indeed car park area has had a bit of roof refurbishments by the way new street lights that all light up at night and there's these concrete uh, pillars that stop us from running you over and look at that that's a man doing a 25 point turn let's wish him luck let's hope he doesn't hit his bumper onto a concrete pillar and of course just over yonder is the blue 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 mediterranean sea and it really is a spectacality of a day indeed middle of april is coming up temperatures if you're curious to know let's have a quick look 23 degrees oh my goodness just after 10 o'clock and it's 23 degrees everything's looking blue from the sky to the sea to mr ball all that's missing is you so come on get yourself on a big bird or a canoe start paddling like crazy path for cyprus marika and me oh yeah we're waiting especially for you now this is where the harbour crescendos into the Paphos castle and this is the brand new sunset viewing point and if you follow where these people are going now the gentleman with the rucksack on and his partner in his crimes they are on the coastal pathway and they're walking in the direction of lighthouse beach firehouse beach or kefalius beach area and of course the kefalius beach tourist resort and the elysium hotel if you're on foot well 20 minutes or so and you'll be there but one thing's for sure you're going to get some absolutely spectacular views along the way downtown Kedipaphos on a spectacality of a day indeed all that's missing is you so come on come and see us because you know you want to if you haven't been to Paphos before we promise you you are going to get a great great holiday and if it's a suntan you're after yep you're going to get one of them as well because the temperatures are going to go in one direction and that is up and up and up and our summer season lingers on for a very very long time indeed often people come out here in november even in early december and have a spectacular holiday and go home with a very very good suntan indeed and again once you've been to paphos you normally come back for example lady andrea and sir mars we are humbled that they stumbled upon our little channel marika and me and they chose to come to paphos and they've kept on coming back and they've kept on coming back and they now come back twice a year are you listening for donis the mayor there are one or two people who come to paphos specifically because of the little channel known as Marika and me and of course we thank you all from the bottom of our two hearts for taking the trouble to watch us for coming back now and again and of course for gifting us that couple of bob via the super thanks on the YouTube comments platform and of course via the buy me a coffee platform thank you very very much indeed if there's somewhere that you would like us to go well please drop it in the comments and you never know that video may be coming very very soon indeed especially for you. Paphos Harbour 
on a spectacality of a day indeed. Really all that's missing is you. So you know what to do. Get yourself on that big bird, on that canoe, start paddling like crazy. Papa Cyprus, or Icar and me. Even Maria on the electric scooters there, she's waiting especially for you. Forgive that rubbish tip there at the moment. Once all the pavements are done, all that will be tidied up and that will be turned into a green area and rumour has it maybe a municipality parking area. Of course you'll have to pay in that part. At the harbour, at the moment, it is currently free of charge. Now, this road takes us from the harbour to the Paphos Mall. To give it its correct name, it's called the Tomb of the King's Avenue Mall. But main Paphos Mall will do. So when it gets a bit hot and you're on your travels and you want to go and do some shopping in some air-conditioned luxury, well, this could be the place for you and it's coming up very, very soon indeed. On the way, you are going to transcend under the Paphos Skywalk. What is the Paphos Skywalk? Well, its name suggests it's a walkway up in the sky and that's what it is. It starts just over here on the left hand side or you can cut through the catacombs on the right hand side and work your way up towards this steel platform which is coming up overhead now. And it's nothing spectacular, don't get me wrong, but it is something unique to Paphos. You get to get some fresh air and some different views, whether you're looking back for the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea or whether you're looking up towards the old town. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like, click that subscribe, and don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness. Thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Yes, Lady Allison. Thanks for all the love hearts. And yes, Lady Galena, we are loving you like crazy. Yeah, so bear la blue. That's a little bit of Russian, especially for you.